Hello guys, uh, back here again with Ben Thomas. Um, we're now recovered from the very hoppy American beer we had, uh, see the previous review. Yeah. Um, this is the fourth one now, so I'm starting to feel a little bit, hello! Well, yes, that's what happens when you drink booze, but that's great, <laughs> booze is great. Okay, so I want to have a beer, um, and it is Scotland's best-selling cask beer. Ooh. It is Duca's IPA. Oh, I've heard of it, seen it all over the place. Never uh, tried I it. have had it before. It's okay, but I haven't had it for ages. So, it has won Champion Beer of Britain before. So, Ooh. clearly not that bad. Uh, by Caledonian Brewery. Um, I believe it is from Edinburgh in Scotland. Um, and you said Duca's, yeah? Well, I think that's how it's pronounced. Because I've, I've always read it as Dear Charles, but... But it's from Scotland, so I'm just going to say, Duca's me. Yeah, that sounds a lot more Scottish. Yeah. Dear Charles is, is incredibly not Scottish. Yeah. Um, a tasty, clear, crisp and light beer, dark golden colour. Its dry palate is tempered by a soft and silky maltiness. It sounds like ex this sounds and looks like exactly the kind of thing I could drink six pints of and then stand up and go, "Wow, oh, that was the bad." bad we'll see. Bad and balanced with a quenching citrus fruit, long, deep, bitter hop finish. Well, first brewed in what? no, not that one. No, no, this I'm one. just looking at the name of yeah, that, that one. That is quite a name. This one, Docker is... van der Conen Ra Bella Fleur. Yeah, IPA. It's not the one we're doing. No. Um, so first brewed in 1987. Uh, 4.4 percent so it's not it's not long it's not a skull splitter uh although there is a beer called skull splitter which we're not going to be doing in tonight but um uh so look at the design here uh caledonian beer caledonian beers have a very similar style um i quite like it it's i think it's quite a dull design it's not it's not inspiring tells you the name of the beer that's pretty much distinctive refreshing that's all yes yeah. <laughs> Um, it's good. Oh. Yeah. So it does support the Fringe Festival. It yeah. doesn't make a good beer, but anyway. Let's give this a go. Good colour. Darker end of the English style IVA. Maybe it's, I should say British style IPA. If this is it's a not it's beer. not bottle conditioned, so I can just pour it from yeah. the bottle. Very little of this stuff is, is it? That's no, that's not that's just not a, a British thing to do. Bottle conditioned. Oh, no, it is. Is it not for the mass market stuff? No, but it's I mean hard like to the sell. kind of stuff that you would you know recognise, like this day of Charles. No, you're right. No, most most bottles. bottles of beer you find in the supermarket are not bottle conditioned. Yeah. So, so have a smell. There's a bit of citrus, a little bit, a bit of citrus hop note on there. Um, um, right, well, cheers. Actually, doesn't taste like what I expected. What did you expect? I don't know. I was kind of expecting a kind of slow at first, and then a late hoppy hits, like like mm -hmm. you might get. From I don't know, forgotten all beers. More like a um... like Sharps Atlantic. I, I was expecting right. something because Sharp Sharp Sharps Atlantic is my ideal British style IPA and maybe my favourite beer. Um, this is. It's not like this that at all. This does say it's best known for its sweeter, more multi character. It is. Let's say it is. It does have a sweet, multi character. It's not very hoppy at all. No, it doesn't taste like an IPA would normally taste, to, to my understanding. No, I don't. Like. I don't think it is a good example of an IPA, but it's probably better to think of it as a golden beer. Yeah. It's weirdly rough on yes. the tongue. It is a bit rough on the tongue. Um, it uses. Uh, Golding Spuggles and William uh, Willamette hops. Um, it says it's a fresh citrus taste. I don't think so. I think it's no. quite it's quite malty. It's a bit biscuity. Yeah. Um, it, it, it is a bit rough. It's almost too fizzy, which is a weird thing to say about mm. this kind of ale. 
because this will be top fermented for sure. But yeah, it's a bit rough. It's a bit um, it's got a sort of weird bitterness to it. Um, it's okay. This is the kind of beer when people tell me they don't like beer. I kind of understand that. I mean, I can't understand how this could win a competition. Like, it's not horrible. I'm not going, ugh, blah, blah, blah. I could quite have, I would quite, you know, I could drink this. But but really, if something like a world champion car scale. It's, I mean, not, it's not special, is it? No, not at all. Indeed, I, I, I would say, as IPAs go, this is below average. So, here's the question. Does it pass... A litmus test. Is it better or worse than Doom Bar? Oh no, I'd take Doom Bar any Would day. Would you? I'd take Doom Bar any day over this. Interesting. I'd go for boring over this weird acrid searing gassiness on the tongue. Um, if you try and hold it in your mouth, it genuinely hurts. Oh, I'll try and do that. Mm. See, it's weird, isn't it? Beer shouldn't do that. It's really gassy. Really. Yeah. It's got this kind of bitterness. It's not a nice bitterness. I, I don't mind a bitterness in a beer, but no, it's just, it can be really good. How can this be Scotland's best-selling car scale? They really do like a good a good pint of pish. Yeah, well, when I was in Scotland, Scotland is the place where I first discovered I liked ale. Oh. Um, I visited many microbreweries and pubs up and down the, up and down the, in on the west coast in Fort William and Glencoe. Right. And though the area is more known for its whiskey, the kind of whiskey they do there is not the kind of whiskey I like. Um, and I tried a lot of the beer, and it's there that I discovered that the ale was my thing. And I've had a few like island microbrewery beers, including right. this wonderful one called Suliven. And yeah, Scotland was the place that converted me to beer. And I don't know, this is from a different kind of Scotland. Yeah, this is the. Uh... This is the McEwen's bitter sort of Scot sort of Scotland or the um oh, that's an awful an awful Scottish beer um like uh, what's that terrible lager they do which all the drunks drink um I don't know I can't remember I can't, someone com someone will come on this video telling me which one it was I take Mad Dog Twenty Twenty over this I'll tell you oh old school. Mad Dog 2020. Um, I would... Oh, now would I take Doom Bar over this? This might be nice from cast because it wouldn't be so, quite so gassy. Yeah, maybe it's something that doesn't lend itself to being bottled. To be honest, a lot of the best English... Yeah, I, mean, to, I keep saying English because it's what I associate with the yeah. style of beer, but this is obviously I mean, from Scotland. I mean, to be fair, it does say it's, it's Scotland's best in car scale, which doesn't include yeah, bottles. Doesn't, doesn't so actually, bottle, I've never yeah. had this on cast before. Um, Maybe it just doesn't lend itself at all to being bottled. A lot of this kind of beer doesn't so much. No, um, yeah, uh, it's, it's a very interesting one. It's something which I think I should like, but I just don't. Yeah, I, 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 I was expecting to rank this highly. I was expecting it to be nicer to my tastes than anything we've had so far, apart from that wonderful... Um, Whatever it was called, the uh, the American modus one. operandi. Modus operandi. I look back and feel that great bit. Oh, this is that even compare. I mean, I mean that was an IPA. This is an IPA. I mean, IPA is is as a style. It stands for India Pale Ale. First of all, it should be over five percent. This is four point four, so kind of fails the first test. You know why it's over five percent? Because it's got to keep all the way to India. Correct. Yes, yes. Yes. Um, which generally meant it was also more highly hopped. Um, because that that also helped the flavour maintain. Uh, so this fails. Um, to be honest, though, what the modern American interpretation of IPA is an entirely different beast well, yes, to but, the old. But this British isn't American. IPA. This is British. Well, yeah, but know. I'm saying we 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 maybe shouldn't compare this with the modus operandi. They are totally different. No, things. you're right. But, but but we should be comparing this with like you know Sharps Atlantic, that wonderful, wonderful pale ale. Uh, yeah, but that scene is an American pale ale. I mean, really? Yeah, I, mean, I didn't know that. Yeah. Or maybe Wolf Rock. Oh, stop saying sh Sharps is not a good comparison because essentially the, the, the home of, of Doom Bar. There's lots of other great IPAs out there. 
There are. For some reason, I can't think of any of them right now. <laughs> um, well, I think we're going to leave it there uh, yeah. because this is... Okay, it's better than Budweiser and it's better than the Red Stripe. But it's I just... wouldn't say so, actually. Really? Yeah, I really would prefer to drink the Red Stripe. Mm. Well, um, I prefer not to drink this at all. Um, I won't be buying it again. Um, it barely passed. I don't even know if it passed the Doom Bar test. I probably remember the Doom Bar actually not Green King IPA. But this is better IPA than Green King IPA, in my opinion. Well, they do do about five different ones. But the standard one. And the standard one. Standard. I think, this is just like the the the, the, the one in the green bottle is a bit meh, isn't it? I prefer the the red, the reserve one. From the days before I knew how evil a corporation they were. Well, there we go. Well, I think we should leave it there. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you think that this beer is good, um, let us know. Um, Ideally in as non-abusive way as possible. Yeah, I don't think it is. Bye.